What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. If this is your first time here, uh, please click the subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video about debit cards, uh, why I don't really use mine ever, uh, but why you should use a credit card and just things that you're going to get benefits with using a credit card versus using your debit card all the time at your bank. So the first point that I wanted to talk about that I brought up is when you use a debit card with your bank, right? Whether that's Bank of America, Wells Fargo, uh, Charles Schwab, uh, TD Bank, whatever, right? You're using that debit card and you have that cash in a checking account, right? With your, your bank, your institution, right? That money gets pulled directly out of that account. You pay for whatever you just bought and then the money's gone, right? When you use your credit card, you're building credit, right? You know, you use your credit card, you pay it off in full every month, which is what I do, and, and you build a history of credit. So when you go to apply for a mortgage for a home, you go to get a loan for a car, Anything that you're getting a loan for, you're going to have that credit history, right? Uh, a lot of people can't access those things if they don't have the credit history. So that's why it's important to use a credit card more. Uh, you're building credit. Uh, second way, and I really like this, is when you use a credit card, it tracks your expenses a little bit easier, right? So uh, I have a credit card with Wells Fargo. I have a credit card with Chase Bank. And... I like Chase because it really breaks down every month where I spent my money that month, whether that be on transportation, on food, uh, anything else. It kind of breaks it down. It's actually a lot easier to look at it versus you know when on your on your typical bank statement. Like I use Wells Fargo, uh, it doesn't really break it down into categories on on where you spend your money. So using a credit card, it's it's really really easy to track your expenses. Uh, the third way is fraud. So. When you use a debit card such as, and this has actually happened to me one time, I went to a gas station one time and I used, this was years ago, and I used my debit card and I used the debit card at the pump when I was, when I was getting gas and a couple days later, um, my bank called me and said someone used my, used my account. So stuff like that, uh, there's a higher chance of fraud when you use your debit card and I think people from what my experience has been and from what I've heard from people tell stories about is there's a higher chance of fraud when you use your debit card because that's linked directly to your checking account uh, with your bank. So it, it's just a little bit of a dicey area and that's that's another reason why I, I don't use a debit card when I'm, I'm out in places that, you know, I wouldn't want my information getting stolen. Uh, fourth point is rewards, right? So when you use your debit card at a bank, uh, you're not getting rewards from your, your bank, right? So I use my credit card, I get cash back, I get uh, points towards air for whatever. I just bought something off Amazon yesterday and I didn't even know this, but I have my Chase card linked to my Amazon account and I had rewards built up with Amazon from Chase and I had like $35 in there, I had no idea. So that's free money that I didn't even know I had and I ended up using that money to buy something. So uh, right there was a perfect example of you know why I use credit cards more often is because you're constantly building points. Uh, when, when you pay off your card and you pay off the amount of your card, you're building points, you're racking those points up and that could really go towards whatever you want. I usually take the cash back, but you know people use it for airfare, uh, people use it for whatever, right? Uh, and the fifth point is ATM fee. So I rarely use cash. Uh, the only time I'm really using cash is if I'm out at a bar or a restaurant and you know they, they only accept cash only and I have to go to an ATM uh, and take out cash, right? Or beforehand, I'll go to my, my bank's uh, ATM and take out cash there. But a lot of the times what happens is is that and Wells Fargo, uh, not a big fan. I still use them, and I'm probably going to leave them soon. But they charge a fee when you use uh, your debit card at a non-Wells Fargo ATM. So I think it's like $2.50. So if I go take out money right at a non-Wells Fargo ATM, I'm getting a fee by the ATM, which is like $2.50 to $3 sometimes, typical ATMs. Uh, so someone's already making money off me and then I'm getting a fee by Wells Fargo. So 
If I go to a non-Wells Fargo ATM, that's like five or six dollars right there that I'm paying just to take out cash. So that's another reason why I, I don't typically use debit cards. And if I am, I'm, I'm going and I'm taking out cash. I'm going to my bank and I'm, I'm getting the cash out there. But those were five ways. Uh, just just showing you kind of how using a credit card is really going to benefit you and you know, I think it all, a lot of people I think are hesitant because they feel like they're not going to pay it off every month. But I think if you get in the habit of using it more often and paying it off every month, you're getting in this habit of just building credit and it's just really going to help you out long term. So thanks for listening today, guys, uh, and stay tuned in my next video.